morning learners, are you excited for today's lesson? Come and join me in an awesome adventure in music, art, PE, and health. Dahil sa Mapi 8, DC 566, katawan ay liliglig, kaya halina at patutaw with Mom 8. Arts 8 Quarter 3 Lesson 4, our topic, Arts and Crafts of South, Central, and West Asia. Communicating through arts, idea, message, or meaning. Our objective reflects on and derive the mood, idea, and or message from selected artifacts and art objects. Appreciate the artifacts and art objects in terms of their utilization and their distinct use of art elements and principles. Incorporates the design, form, and spirit of South and West Central Asian artifacts and object to one's creation. In this lesson, you will be introduced to the arts and crafts found in the region of South Asia. You will know how an artist expresses his message or idea through his artworks and reflect on what kind of mood or emotion an object evokes in you. What does art tell us? How much does it tell of a country's history? What secrets are unveiled as people study an artwork? These are the questions that you need to keep in mind as you undergo this lesson. Then now let's begin. Today's activity is a recap of what you have already learned from the previous module which is about the characteristics of South, West, and Central Arts and Crafts. Direction. Study the unique characteristics of the artworks in the pictures below to name the art and identify the region where it comes from. Write your answers in a different sheet of paper. Example, Yurts, Kazakhstan. Art object or artifacts and its country. Here are the numbers 1, 2, 3. Numbers 4 and 5. Every artwork is an extension of an artist's nature, life, and tradition. Artists create an artwork to communicate their beliefs and principles. Imagine you are inside a museum in India together with your teacher and classmates. You are looking at this captivating piece of sculpture, the Nataraha Shiva as the Lord of Dance. Your teacher asks you to share in a class few details that you see in this art object. What are you going to say? Here's what you will observe, the factual observation and the interpretative observation. But what is the difference between factual observation and interpretative observation? Factual observation is based on facts, something that really exists, while interpretative observation is based on your opinion or interpretation of the artwork. Are you ready? Let's get ready. So let's go to our topic, Arts and Crafts of South Asia, communicating through arts, idea, meaning, or message. South Asia first. 
First one, we have the Ahajanta Caves, a 30 rock hut cave monument. What is the idea, message, or meaning of the Ajanta Caves? It's ex expressive paintings and rock cut sculptures which show emotions through gestures, form, and pose. The walls told stories of the lives of the Buddha in animated images. Of tremendous beauty, elegance, and grace, complemented with brilliant glowing colors. Each cave contains inscriptions that register people, community, royals, costumes, and much more because the murals look alive and seem to narrate events of the past. Nataraha is a sculpture depicting the Hindu god Shiva as the lord of dance and dramatic arts. This bronze sculpture shows Shiva performing the dance of bliss which is believed by Hindus as the dance that created the universe. Next art object or artifact is the diya. It is an oil lamp made of clay with a cotton wick dipped in vegetable oils or in ghee. Idea, message, or meaning of the dia. Lighting the wick symbolizes the end of darkness and uh, ignorance, a fresh way forward. The lights of dias convey an important message of unity. One lamp can light several others without affecting its own. On the other hand, dias found in temples are used to bless the worshippers. Truck art, also known as jingle trucks, decorated the streets with its colorful and lavish exteriors. Truck owners want their trucks to look better than others since people who hire the trucks choose the best looking or the fanciest one because they trust that it is in a better condition and worth the fortune they pay. Arts and Crafts of Central Asia Communicating Through Arts, Idea, Meaning, or Message Yurt is a unique settlement for the nomads of the Kazakh and Kyrgyz people, but today it is no longer served its initial purpose. Yurts have become a form of ornamentation in public buildings. Kazakh women with a talent in embroidery. The patterns decorating the yurt contain symbols that represent strength and protection. The most common ones include the four powerful beasts such as lion, tiger, garuda, and dragon, and the five elements fire, water, earth, metal, and the wood. The carpet weaving. Turkmen excel in carpet weaving. They are some of the best when it comes to producing carpets, and as a result, they have been exporting to foreign countries. Arts and Crafts of West Asia Ceramic Art
The idea, message, or meaning of ceramic art are commonly present in pottery and tiles to decorate architecture such as mosques in Syria and Persia, modern-day Iran. Calligraphy serves as a way to communicate sacred texts of Islam. It is inscribed on ceramics, art, objects, architectural buildings, and it is imprinted on papers or cloths. And that's all for our topic, Arts and Crafts. This is for your activity. Directions. Identify the art, artifact or art object implied in the given idea or message. We have idea or message. And the second column is artifacts or art object. In the first column, we have the idea or message. And you will answer what artifacts or art object is being described. Number one, it led to the discovery of dance as a form of entertainment in ancient Indian civilization. civilization. What artifacts or art object is described? Number two, its light symbolizes unity. Number three, it symbolizes beauty, hope, and tradition for Indian. What artifacts or art object is being described? Number four, it is a symbol of family and traditional hospitality. What artifacts or art object is being described? Well, number five, it makes a guest or a visitor during celebrations and holidays feel welcome. What artifacts or art object is being described? What an awesome adventure we had today. I hope you learned a lot. Remember that a sound mind is a sound body. See you again for the next adventure in music, art, PE, and health aid.